everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before in case this is your first time watching hi my name is leslie i'm so glad to have you here on my channel i talk about all things luxury i film unboxings reviews comparison videos shopping vlogs from time to time so if that sounds like your thing i would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up that would help me out a lot anyway for today's video as you might have been able to tell from the title and the thumbnail we are talking about something that came in this beautiful green box and it's empty because it's already on my wrist. We're talking about the Van Cleef & Uphelds 5 motif vintage Alhambra bracelet in the Mother of Pearl. I added this piece roughly about a year or so ago, a little over a year. I gifted it to myself for my birthday and I figured it was about time that I gave you a wear and tear update. My thoughts after wearing this piece basically for one year straight because as I'm going to get into, this basically hasn't left my wrist. Obviously, I took it off for like showering. I know some people choose to leave their jewelry on when they go to bed. I don't. But other than that, basically any time I left my house, I yeah put this bracelet on. So it's definitely been in high rotation and in constant use. So I feel kind of qualified to talk about the wear and tear update as I've been wearing it constantly. So I think this video will be on the shorter side because I'm trying to not ramble on too much, but I make sure to go over every aspect that I would be interested in if I was looking into purchasing such an expensive piece. By the way, I filmed a reveal and like first impression and Q&A video last year, which I'm going to link to up here and also in the description box below. Definitely check out that video where I go a little more into detail about the purchasing process, um, my decision making process and yeah, how I came to choose to go for this beautiful bracelet. Mind you, I'm not a jewelry person per se. The VCA bracelet right here was my first actual like real deal luxury designer fine jewelry purchase. I think the only luxury fine jewelry piece that I had before was my Tiffany & Co necklace, but I mean, that's in silver and price-wise, it's a definite jump from a Tiffany & Co silver necklace to something like this. So I did take a bit of a risk because while I knew that bracelets in general were one of my favorite type of jewelry to wear, apart from earrings, I'm obsessed with earrings, but that's beside the point. So I knew that I generally would wear a bracelet, but I didn't know how I would go about something this expensive if it was going to be more of a special occasion item or an everyday item and i'm so happy to say that's an everyday item which also comes with slight wear and tear aspects which i'm going to get into and i'm also going to insert yeah like close-up shots to give you an accurate idea of what you might be able to expect after a year of basically wearing this bracelet non-stop i do want to point out that of course, I mean, considering the price of this item, I was careful, but not like obsessive or anything. I, of course, tried to not bump into any like hard surfaces because I've heard stories of people actually um, having the Mother of Pearl or it might have been more like the Malachite and the Onyx, which I think, don't quote me, I'm not too like well informed about all the VCA pieces. I think those stones are a little more fragile and like more porous, so they might crack a little easier. But I also think I heard someone that um, yeah had one of these Mother of Pearl pieces um, break and crack on them, which I definitely want to prevent. But as I said, I wasn't like super, super anal and um, super careful about the bracelet. So with this like long explanation and preface, I'm just gonna cut to the close-ups. In general, I would say that the bracelet has been wearing exceptionally well. Going into the purchase, I had been a little afraid of, I don't know, potentially experiencing discoloration on the Mother of Pearl in particular. If the Mother of Pearl happened to come in contact with yeah, my face or like my hands after putting on makeup, because I mean, makeup is more on the orangey side and I wouldn't want the beautiful like pearly white mother of pearl to get an orange tint but I'm happy to report that I don't have any discoloration on the bracelet which might also be due to the fact that I was a little more careful I guess to not get the bracelet in contact with makeup but still I mean for wearing the bracelet like basically non-stop for a year there would have been a lot of instances where potentially the bracelet had come in contact with um, makeup and 
I see zero issue with discoloration or color transfer, which I think is amazing. The gold on the bracelet still looks super sparkly and beautiful. I don't see any like scratches or anything like that. Mind you, there are a lot of very smooth surfaces of gold on this bracelet. Most of it is um, yeah, surrounding the mother of pearl elements and also on the clasp. There's a little more like smooth gold, but I don't see any scratches on there at all. Plus, I mean, you're usually not like super up close and I'm inspecting the bracelet from like a 10 centimeter distance. So super happy with that. When it comes to the mother of pearl, I, I mean, depending on how the light hits it, I think there might be some like tiny scratches, not like single scratches, but more a general like appearance of the mother of pearl looking a little more dull in the center of the clover element, whereas around the edges where the mother of pearl element is closed in by the frame, basically, it's a little more shiny as in as shiny as it was when I first got the bracelet. Whereas the closer you get to the center of the clover, it does look a little more dull, but again, depending on how the light hits it, I am trying to capture it in my videos, but yeah, it's a little hard. Uh, as, as I said, it really depends on yeah, the angle that you look at the bracelet from, but it might also be something that you can easily remove or like mitigate by um, polishing the bracelet. I haven't looked into how you would be able to polish the bracelet or any kind of treatments or anything like that. I don't have a VCA boutique near me, so it's not as easy as going inside and just asking them, but I'm traveling to New York City really soon, so I might pop by the VCA boutique and just ask them what they would do about this. I wouldn't call it an issue, but it's I mean, it's something that you may notice when you inspect the bracelet up close. So there's that. But other than that, I mean, despite this like dullness in the center of the clover, the mother of pearl in general just still really sparkles. And I just love like tilting my wrist a little and yeah, seeing the different yeah, sparkly and like shiny and iridescent elements. So in general, I'm really surprised that the bracelet has been wearing as well as it has. And I mean, surprised and also really happy because it was quite the investment. If you know VCA, you know what they usually come with in terms of the price tag. And I mean, this bracelet is on the cheaper side. VCA goes to like levels that I don't even want to think about when it comes to prices. But still, of course, this is quite the investment when it comes to jewelry but yeah i guess uh, that already does it for today's video definitely let me know if you have any additional questions i'm happy to answer them and give you further information if i'm able to but yeah just pop your questions in the comment section below and i'm gonna get back to you i really hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope that it was helpful to you if you enjoyed it definitely give me a thumbs up that would help me out a lot in terms of the youtube algorithm and also consider subscribing if you haven't already i upload every wednesday and i would love to have you back bye